Each year, thousands of young teenagers take to Valley Roads with that first taste of freedom with their new driver's license. Unfortunately, that's an especially dangerous time for young people. Research is showing that distracted driving is the leading cause of serious car crashes among teenage drivers. So today, students at a Mesa High School got an in-your-face demonstration of what can happen when something as simple as checking a smartphone can lead to fatal consequences. Alarm to all units responding to the 2 in 1 medical. This is at Red Mountain High School. We have a small SUV rolled over, four to five patients have left. For about an hour this morning, 3,000 Red Mountain High School students were witnesses to a terrible car crash. Members of Mesa Fire, police, and the local medical community wanted to make this feel as real as possible because... Students your age are involved in horrific vehicle accidents as a result of impaired driving, distractions, or a combination of those incidents. To add to the drama playing out, fellow Red Mountain students were cast as victims. It's complete shock that I would have to say with this blood on my face and seeing myself in the mirror. It just, like, a sudden realization, like, what if this did happen? This was a mock disaster for Gilbert and his friends, but the facts are all too real when it comes to teen drivers. Traffic crashes are the leading cause of death for teenagers in America. Everybody's convinced it's not going to happen to me. It's going to happen to somebody else, and that's not the case. We know that. We have 3,300 students on this campus, and we hope that every one of them have the opportunity to give this some thought and reflection before they go out and uh, drive in an automobile again. So did this stark graphic presentation work? We caught up with a couple of new drivers who say they'll now take a different approach behind the wheel. You can see how much stuff really goes into it um, on the scene and how bad it can be if you get too distracted and crash. I hope that people see that it's like it's important and they get they get it through their mind that we need to be more careful and not text while we drive or drink that mock disaster right there was five months in the planning and mesa fire says that they have done similar events closer to prom season in the past but the school principal wanted to do it a little bit earlier this time around to tie it into red mountain spring break which is next week. Yeah, great learning experience mm -hmm. for them. Well, from well, each year, thousands of teens take to Valley Roads with a new driver's license. It's a real sense of freedom for them. Research is showing, though, that distracted driving is the number one cause of serious crashes for teen drivers. Today, students at a Mesa High School got an in-your-face demonstration of how something as simple as checking a smartphone can lead to deadly consequences. Here's Scott Light. Alarm to all units responding to the 2 in 1 medical. This is at Red Mountain High School. We have a small SUV rolled over, four to five patients have left. For about an hour this morning, 3,000 Red Mountain High School students were witnesses to a terrible car crash. Members of Mesa Fire, police, and the local medical community wanted to make this feel as real as possible because... Students your age are involved in horrific vehicle accidents as a result of impaired driving, distractions, or a combination of those incidents. To add to the drama playing out, fellow Red Mountain students were cast as victims. It's complete shock that I would have to say with this blood on my face and seeing myself in the mirror. It just, like, a sudden realization, like, what if this did happen? This was a mock disaster for Gilbert and his friends, but the facts are all too real when it comes to teen drivers. Traffic crashes are the leading cause of death for teenagers in America. Everybody's convinced it's not going to happen to me. It's going to happen to somebody else, and that's not the case. We know that. We have 3,300 students on this campus, and we hope that every one of them have the opportunity to give this some thought and reflection before they go out and uh, drive in an automobile again. So did this stark graphic presentation work? We caught up with a couple of new drivers who say they'll now take a different approach behind the wheel. You can see how much stuff really goes into it um, on the scene and how bad it can be if you get too distracted and crash. I hope that people see that it's like it's important and they get they get it through their mind that we need to be more careful and not text while we drive or drink that mock disaster was five months in the planning
all know by now that texting and driving just don't mix, but today students at Red Mountain High School got a very graphic reminder of the dangers of distracted driving. The Mesa Fire Department staged a mock car crash to show students there the serious and sometimes fatal consequences of being distracted behind the wheel. In high school, it's a big thing, and you know, you get messed up at parties, and you know, you're not cool unless you uh, unless you go to a party, and you know, everything like that. So I wanted to, you know, show everybody. Not only do you not have to drink, but if you do drink, this is what's going to happen. Studies show sending or receiving a text message takes drivers' eyes from the road for an average of 4.6 seconds. Now that's the equivalent of driving the entire length of a football field blind at 55 miles an hour. An Speaking of driving, Red Mountain High School putting their students through a very important drill focusing on text-free driving. Students looking on as firefighters and paramedics simulated what goes on during an accident, the mock crash caused by texting and driving. Students used fake blood, they laid on the ground as rescue crews went through the process of caring for accident victims. The goal of the drill was to get teens talking about the dangers of distracted driving. We've all gawked a time or two when we've passed an accident on the freeway. Today, students at an East Valley High School watched as a mock accident was played out on the football field right in front of them. And they got a very important lesson. Driving while distracted or drunk is a bad idea. And it's a lesson that is a good reminder for everyone. It's a disturbing visual at Mesa's Red Mountain High School. Thankfully, this is not real. But the message of this fake accident is very real. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, focus on the road. We have a small SUV rolled over, four to five patients have The seconds after the accident, before Mesa Fire arrives to help. It's traumatic to watch. And it's sinking in with these high school students. Prom season is just around the corner, and this may save a life for a kid who may be pressured into drinking and driving. You have to kind of learn how to stand up to even your good friends. When they want to do something stupid, you know, it can end in something like this, a tragedy. The fake crash included the worst possible scenario, a death. Even the medical examiner shows up. Some decisions have deadly consequences. It kind of scares you a little bit, and I think that that's what they're trying to do with a little bit of the scare tactic, but it definitely works. A lot of this can take place whether you're intoxicated or whether you're just distracted, you know, and sometimes as teenagers we, you know, might make bad decisions in driving and things like that, and that's where it can end up. Today's lesson, don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, don't get in the car with someone who does. Personally, I have made it a goal not to do that, and I think that a lot of the people in the stands have made the same decision. And these kids get it. In a case like this, you have to put your life before, before your friend's uh, opinion, and you just have to say, I'd rather not die today. Texting while driving makes you 23 times more likely to be involved in a crash. Kids who see their parents texting while they drive are more likely to text while they drive when they get behind the wheel and get their license. Pet owners. Red Mountain High School having some other training, putting their students through an important drill, focusing on text-free driving. Students looking on, you can see some serious faces there as firefighters and paramedics simulated what goes on during an accident. It was a mock crash caused by texting and driving. Students used fake blood and laid on the ground as rescue crews went through the process of caring for all the victims. It's definitely better to have, you know, have it in, their, in front of their face, you know, be real and stuff like that and just not, not have pictures because, you know, you see this stuff all the time on news, but when you're actually the students standing in, or sitting in the bleachers and stuff like that and you see this. So the goal of the drill, to get teens talking about the dangers of distracted driving. All right, look at this. Weather alert for Arizona. Students at Denise Valley High School watched as a mock accident played out in the football field right in front of them. So they got an important lesson about driving while distracted or drunk. And it's a lesson that everybody could take heed of. Carrie Lake reports. It's a disturbing visual at Mesa's Red Mountain High School. Thankfully, this is not real. But the message of this fake accident is very real. Don't drink and drive, don't text and drive, focus on the road. We have a small SUV rolled over, four to five patients have The seconds after the accident, 
before Mesa Fire arrives to help. It's traumatic to watch. And it's sinking in with these high school students. Prom season is just around the corner, and this may save a life for a kid who may be pressured into drinking and driving. You have to kind of learn how to stand up to even your good friends. When they want to do something stupid, you know, it can end in something like this, a tragedy. The fake crash included the worst possible scenario, a death. Even the medical examiner shows up. Some decisions have deadly consequences. It kind of scares you a little bit, and I think that that's what they're trying to do with a little bit of the scare tactic, but it definitely works. A lot of this can take place whether you're intoxicated or whether you're just distracted, you know, and sometimes as teenagers we, you know, might make bad decisions in driving and things like that, and that's where it can end up. Today's lesson, don't text and drive, don't drink and drive, don't get in the car with someone who does. Personally, I have made it a goal not to do that, and I think that a lot of the people in the stands have made the same decision. And these kids get it. In a case like this, you have to put your life before, before your friend's uh, opinion, and you just have to say, I'd rather not die today. Carrie Lake, Fox 10 News. Texting while driving makes you 23 more times likely to get into a crash than if you aren't texting. As Students at a Valley High School got a strong message about distracted driving. Now keep in mind what you're about to see is not real. Traffic crashes are of course the leading cause of death for American teenagers. So today at Red Mountain High School in Mesa, students saw firsthand what happens after a driver gets into a crash. For the Mesa Fire Department, it's all about timing. So the idea of spreading these out when we're doing them at each individual school is to give it time for students to rotate out, graduate, and then to have a next group of students come up to those junior and senior years where once we do it, it becomes more of a surprise. Numbers show drivers who use handheld devices behind the wheel are four times more likely to get into serious crashes. Spring break.